Hello guys, hope you're all being well. Welcome to the view. Okay guys, so as you probably are probably know now, or maybe you don't, that's why I'm doing this video, there's a massive nerf on Diablo 4 Server Slam, which is happening today in a few hours time. Okay, so there's an enormous amount of nerfs guys across all the classes. There is some buffs as well though. So it's not all doom and gloom, don't worry, but this is the way Diablo works, guys. Things go up, things go down. We've seen it happen for Diablo 3 for the last 10 plus years. So, uh, yeah, it will make the server slam more challenging, though. Okay, we'll make it more challenging, especially with the Sharba boss fight. Okay, so, uh, yeah, guys, right here, we've got this lovely Dougal document here from Don the Crown, who's put together all the buffs and nurse, like a little summary of things for all the classes. Plus, even the aspects as well, which is really, really nice. I'm not going to read all of this out because it'll turn this video into a massive, massive video. We'll quickly gloss over the most important ones. And uh, there'll be a link, guys, to this document in the description of this video so you guys can go through it. So, also, guys, this build calculator here from Lothric, I'll link this as well, has been updated with these patch notes that are unofficial from Liz, but they've been data mined. And it's probably going to be correct. We'll probably have a pack, an official post from Blizz pretty soon, actually, during today, probably. Lovely guys, so uh, before we do the classes, quickly go to the codex. These are the aspects in the game. Okay, so let's do the barb one first. There's a big, big, we knew, we knew this was going to be nerfed, but Axis of Limitless Rage, guys, has gone from 240% now to 60%. You know, we knew this was going to happen. Small nerf for Berserk of Ripping, like it reduced here, and opens damage reduced here. Uh, uh, a Druid, guys, Aspect of the Stampede has been. Uh, Damage has been massively reduced. All companions' active skills got big buffs, though. Okay, so it was that. Tornadoes now seek two less targets now for Storm Chaser's aspect. That's actually pretty big because the uh, tornado build man was well, is that still it's still going to be absolutely fine, but it seeks now two less targets. Okay, but we quickly go through this. Tax speed nerf, blah blah blah. Damage nerf. Uh, where is it? Generic utility one. Melted heart of sea leg. This has now got a 70% nurse baseline now. Worst roll is now worse before. But you can see all this stuff that has been nerfed, the buff, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But it's mo it's mostly nerfs. It's mostly nerfs. Okay. Especially we knew Barb was going to hit hit the worst there. All right. Let's go to Barb in, guys. So you can see it here. So um, Enhanced Bash has now got more Fortify. Damage nerf here for Hammer of the Agents. Uh, let's have a quick look. The old value was 106. The new one's now 95. So that's lost a little bit there. Longer duration, guys, for Violent Hammer with the Agents. 50% damage nerf there for Furious Upheaval. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Extra 10 Fury there for Enhanced Double Swing. Damage buff here for Whirlwind. Whirlwind damage has actually gone up. How much has it gone up? It was 24.7. It's now got up to 32.9. So Whirlwind's gone up a little bit. More Fury and Hit, guys, for Enhanced Whirlwind. No, Furious Whirlwind. Double the damage of this node now. That's actually quite nice. So well, when it also flicks 20% of his base damage is bleeding, and now that's gone up to 40%. So you now get more bleed, guys. You go for enhanced whirlwind. That's not too bad. Damage drop scaling from here from eight to six seconds for a challenging shout. Double the effect of this node here for enhanced iron nodes. More base life as four or five for treasure iron skin. Whoa, that's crazy, guys. Massive, massive fawns nerf. Now fawns was performing. Absolutely crazy in the last uh, in the last beta, man. Thorns were so strong that you could literally just walk around and monsters punched you and just died instantly. So we knew it was going to happen, but um, will this make Thorns completely useless in this particular service? Then we don't know, but I've always a seventy-five percent damage nerf. That's massive, man. Another one here, guys, for tough as nails as well. Big Thorns nerf, bleeding buff. So uh, increase your Thorns by blah blah blah. So the old value was two hundred percent, and now it's gone down to thirty. Okay, and just tell me you bleeding damage for five seconds. So, and when your enemies hit you, they take an additional 1% of your blood forms is bleeding. Okay, so what they've done is they've changed the bleed effect to 10% instead of 1%. Okay, but they're taking make away the major reflection damage. Modes. Like I said, you know, it's, it's, it's test server, guys. Things are going to go up and down, up and down, man. Rallying cry, big buff, nerf. You get the idea, okay? You get the idea. So uh, let's go over to Druid. Now, Druid, guys, got a big, big buff on pet DPS, which is nice. Where is it? Earth Spike, Spirit Gem, more fortification. Blah, blah, blah. Re Spirit Gem, some of damage drop, overpower. Where is it? Ooh, lots and lots of stuff. Damage triple, there it is. Okay, guys, so Trample got a big buff, okay? Trample went from 47.5. All the way up now. It's a 142. My god. 
So it's the Trample got a big, big buff. Like a massive buff. That's actually really good. Also, guys, Enhanced Trample. 120% more damage now. Trample is going to hurt. So Trample, guys, looking really, really good. Very, very nice. Yeah, and also the pets have been buffed as well. So you can see here, like Vine Creeper. Look. Name change, active damage is now tripled. That's really, really good. Ravens, active damage is now doubled. That's really, really good. So uh, Wolves as well. Active damage is triple, so kill command is going to be hitting really, really hard, I believe. Let's have a look. So the old values here. Point, leaping the strike from 209. So yeah, basically, the, 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 the leaping and kill command for the, for the wolves guys are going to absolutely wreck. Uh, it was doing really well, if you had the right legendary powers. Last server slam, but that's 66, and that's going up to 209. My god, so uh, yeah, guys, that's going to absolutely destroy. So uh, yeah, guys, trample and pets for druid looking really really good like really really good necro guys we knew was necro was going to get nerfed um they've nerfed necro's pet survivability okay but don't worry i'll put together a little build on another tab where you can pretty much just generate infinite corpses anyway so if your pets do die then uh, you can just resummon them straight away, which is really, really nice. But there is actually a buff to pet DPS, guys, for Necro. And also Bone Spear, which was very, very surprising, okay? So um, we now get more Essence Gen, guys, and Decompose, which definitely want to use. Definitely use that, because Bone Spikes, guys, got nerfed. You can see here, huge damage nerf of Bone Spikes. So uh, Bone Spikes was, like, the best generator. Okay, it was anyway. But it's had a massive, massive uh, damage nerf. And to be honest, it needed to be nerfed. It, it was it was hitting as hard as Bone Spear as a primary. Okay, so, which doesn't really work that well. Okay, so... Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. So yeah, guys, just use uh, Decompose. Like I said, I've got a little build here. We'll go over that in a sec. Nice. Well, guys, Blood Lance actually got some love as well. 50% damage buff for Blood Lance. Bottom of percent too bad skill. Uh, let's quickly over here. Damage nerfed. Okay, guys, Corp Explosion has got a massive nerf. It now does half the damage that it used to. And same for also for uh, the Plague one as well, Plague Corpses as well. Okay, so yeah, guys, Corp Explosion, guys, massive nerf. Don't use this in the current beta. Just use Bone Spear, okay? Because Bone Spear got a really nice buff. We can get better hit that now. Skeletal Mages, guys, then you see here. So your pets will now die more often, yeah? Old value here was 150%, yeah, for Skeletal Mage. Now goes up to 200%. We're getting an extra 50% skeletal mage damage. The mage hit very hard already. Okay, so uh, that's going to be a really, really nice buff, man. Okay, the price is pretty much the same. Uh, blighted corpse. Increased chance of more blood orbs, which is quite nice for fortification. Nerf dominion survival. We know this is going to happen. So ultimate here. Blah, blah, blah. And the buff. And also the golem got a buff. A, a debuff as well, man. But uh, yeah, so that's the changes there. Lovely. Road guys, let's have a look. Advanced twist, 75% uh, CDR nerf, 10% damage nerf there to enhance penetration. DR decrease. So vulnerability. So yeah, there's pretty much nerves across the board here for Rogue. It should be still absolutely fine. Um, guys, if you're looking for builds, actually, Rax has done a fantastic video updating all these, uh, all these Kill Sharper build guides here right here guys okay so what i'll do is i'll link rex's video in the description of this video so that way you guys can just go here and just click on these lovely builds here so you can go here kill with sharp because rex guys is a nice chap man so uh definitely check out his content man so yeah if you want some builds there he's got some updated build guides right here man nice and then guys so sork let's have a quick look chance doubled for enhanced spark damage increase with charge bolts and enhanced charge bolts incinerate base damage increased by 33 percent that's kind of nice Chain Lightning, we knew this was going to happen. Base damage reduced by 14% at level, level 1 and less chain. Greater Chain Lightning, modified damage reduced by 50% per bounce off you. The baseline bounce improved, guys, for uh, enhanced shards. Elemental Dominance, damage reduced as well. Jeff Strange, so uh, less vulnerable duration versus bottle now. Bottle, so bosses for a Mystical Frost Nova. Less barrier gained from damage now on Ice Armor. So, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Whoa, 60% damage buff, enchantment buff, fire build will be the meta build, good, I bet. Okay, so it looks like Meteor, guys, is the way to go on Sork now. And damage damage, guys, also for ultimate deep freeze as well, man, as well. Well, guys, I'm going to go over to the Necro now. So, um, I was originally going to go Bone Splinters, man, but obviously it's been nerfed massively, okay? Uh, since the pets have been buffed on Necro, 
I'm going to go back to decompose again. Well, no, it was pretty much the same thing I did on the last Necro video I did for Default on the last Service Slam. So you guys decompose here to enhance them decompose, then Acolyze decompose. You and your minions deal more damage to enemies that are being decomposed, and also you generate... When an enemy dies by decompose, you gain 10 Essence, and you generate corpses underneath that target, okay? So this is going to be very, very useful for uh, a Shard fight as well, because if any of your pets die, you can just recast super quick man because you'll be generating corpses on core guys definitely go bone spear because bone spear is now being um, increased in dps so bone spear is definitely be the way to go okay then enhance bone spear here and then go up to the top one here so it makes mobs you know basically vulnerable for three seconds okay then what you want to do is get loads of vulnerable uh, modifiers on your gear damage to uh, enemies that are uh, vulnerable because you get it automatically from this which is great and um Bone Spear is going to rip, guys. It's just going to rip and tear through mobs like super, super quick, okay? Lovely. So I've got three points there, but you know, just, just tweak it how you want to. Definitely take one, pin, one point, guys, and Blood Mist, because this basically makes you immune to damage for three seconds. This is your uh, oh shit button, basically, so uh, be careful. Definitely max out Skeletal Warrior Marshal, guys, because remember, pets have been buffed now, even though they're weaker, okay? Because uh, pets, you know, they just kill really efficiently, man, while you're leveling, so you can level super, super quick. Lovely. Then there, guys, definitely take Decrepit Fire just for debuffing, for Shava especially. You know, Decrepit Fire are slowed by 40% and deal 20% less damage for 10 seconds. That's going to work for you and a group, which is great. Then definitely max out Skeletal Mage Mastery for the Mages guys doing even more DPS, which is great. Then come down here, guys, to summoning. Now, if you want to be more tanky, you can use Necrocher Carapace. When a corpse is formed by from one of your skills and your minions, you fortify for 6% so six of your base life. Now, the way we got this set up now, you're going to generate corpses all the time. On the Book of the Dead, for your Skeletal Warriors, if you take Reapers, as they're hitting monsters, um, they carve flesh off the enemies and create corpses as well. So if you're having issues surviving, take Necro Characters. But if you're not having issues of surviving, tank this out and just pop over to Death and Brace and max this out. So that way close enemies take 2% more damage per point from you and deal 3% less damage to you for every point so you could just max this out okay instead but like i say if you, if you have issues surviving you could go just this way here because because you could generate so many corpses with this particular setup especially with the reapers with the big scythes man from book of the dead um your fortification just goes through the roof and that way you can take a hit from a shava and things like that also guys with shava max out your poison resistor as well it's very very important love it so uh yeah and there you go that's my that's what the summon the setup i'm gonna try for the necro it should be pretty solid but I was originally going to go bone splinters like here and here, but had a massive buff, massive nerf. And with the buff for to pets now, decompose here it gives you an extra 10% as well, which is nice. But yeah, because of bone spear buff, guys, definitely going bone spear now. Normally, I would go blight. Absolutely love blight. It's a DRT, like almost like a fireball, man. I normally go over here to have the minion damage buff. Okay, you and your minions deal 15% increased damage to enemies within blight. Blight is quite nice, though, to level up with because it's just a quick. You just chuck it, man. It's the big AoE, it does the DOT, and it can kill light trash really quickly. But for the Ashava fight, guys, definitely go Bone Spear, though. Bone Spear is definitely the way to go with the big bit buff. So the guaranteed vulnerability is going to absolutely wreck. Also, guys, for Necro, if we go to the map here, mapgenie.io, okay, go to here. There's a great map, okay? And uh, I've just shown up all the dungeons on the map, so you can use this to plan what aspects you can farm from the dungeons early on to help you level and hopefully kill Ashava as a Necro. So we will be mostly playing Necro this weekend. Uh, I'm going to definitely go to Nostrava Deepwood to get the flesh rendered aspect for the Necromancer. After decompose spawn to corpse, gain X essence. So this is going to help us chuck out even more uh, bone spears and just absolutely wreck. So yeah, definitely hit here, guys. Kara Shad, just come over here. Hit that one straight away. Then over to the Black Asylum, guys. Aspect of Torment. Uh, critical strikes with bone skills, so basically the uh, big buddy bone spear, will increase your essence regeneration by 20% for 4 seconds, so we can chuck out even more bone spears. So def as a necro, definitely get these two things here, guys, because this will help you massively. And whatever class you're going to play, guys, just check on this map here and just see which ones was going to help your class to level up super, super fast. Okay, So you can just get a baseline for your character to level up super quick. And there you go, guys. Uh, I'll put the links, guys, for this information in the description of this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Best of luck on Service Slam tonight, guys. Have fun in Sanctuary. Exciting times ahead. Let's go.